The call started as a crime in progress, but quickly escalated into an active shooter situation with mass casualties. Then, the Orange County Sheriff's Office SWAT team arrived. That's how this multi-agency training scenario began at the now vacant crossroads of Lake Buena Vista shopping complex. We're doing a full-scale exercise involving the Orange County Sheriff's Office specialized teams, uh, the Reedy Creek Fire Department, and the Orange County Fire Department. Large-scale exercises like this allow the Orange County Sheriff's Office to train alongside other local agencies. When you think about a situation like this where we have an active shooter, we're going to be working with a lot of different agencies. It's good to get together with them so that once something does happen, we're all on the same sheet of music and we're all ready for it. Scenarios like this are meant to be as real as possible, so there'll be explosions and the sound of gunfire. You will be out here with blanks. Uh, we have mannequins that breathe and bleed, and we can make it a very realistic scenario and put our personnel through some very challenging situations. After extracting the gunshot victims and securing the building, several OCSO specialty units worked together on what turned into a hostage situation with a barricaded suspect. Getting all the details right for this type of training is key to its success. It took more than four months to plan this scenario. Putting this scenario together, putting all the equipment and planning for what you need out here, and just trying to make it as realistic as possible, so a lot of work went into this. That extra level of planning translates into a more lifelike scenario, which gives these deputies a better sense of what they could face in the real world. This gives us a chance to deal with variables that will come into play that you can't account for when you're setting up a training. So it allows us to work our decision making, our tactics, and our equipment. Back at the scenario, negotiations continued until the suspect began making violent threats and the SWAT team had to breach an office door. The team rescued the hostage, but in the process discovered a suspicious device which was neutralized by the OCSO bomb team. That concluded the scenario. It turned out very well and I think this was some awesome training.